Hey what's guys, it's Rich and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you some gameplay that I was recording whilst I was trying to get all of the headshots with the pistols. As you guys know, if you watched one of my recent videos, I unlocked Regal Camo for the pistols. If you don't know what that is, it means that you've unlocked Gold Camouflage for every weapon in that class you get Regal Camo. It's the equivalent of Black Ops 2 Diamond for example. And part of the challenges on the camouflage on the pistols is to get 50 headshots, which sounds very daunting to begin with. You think that's going to take hours. If you will run around pistol only, how many times can you manage to get a headshot without the other person outgunning you? Uh, now, there's a few things that you can do, a few tips that I employed in the gameplay that you're watching, uh, and how to get these headshots easily. In this gameplay you're watching at the moment, I got 12 headshots in this kill confirmed, which is, a, which is nearly a quarter of the challenge that you need just in one game. And in another game, that unfortunately I wasn't recording, uh, I managed to get 18 headshots with a USP, so this tactic works tremendously. I'm going to tell you the maps that it works on, the maps that it doesn't, and the class that you should be using. Now, uh, obviously you should be using the gun that you want the headshots with, so I'm not going to be talking about what gun to use, because it's probably going to be all of them if you're going for all of the regal camos on this game. Now, the perks that you should be using, almost 100% of the time, are uh, secondary grenades times three, and you need to use stuns. Uh, you don't want to use flashes. Flashes can still allow the enemy to move about a bit and you need to them to be static so you can guarantee a headshot kill. Stuns help a massive amount. You don't want bandolier because you probably won't be surviving that long even though in that streak I actually ended up getting 6 kills and running out of ammo. I still managed to get like 5 headshots in that streak. So you want stun times 3. You want UAV jammer because stopping power doesn't really help with headshots. It's still going to take 2 shots close range and you want to be able to flank your opponents. That is the main thing here. If you can flank your opponents and come behind them, they won't have a chance. And this clip is just me showcasing that every now and again, you'll be behind someone and it just doesn't go to plan. You aim at the head, it doesn't work out. And that guy managed to take me out. It was, it was sort of embarrassing. He probably felt very good about himself. But anyway, you want his UAV jammer and extreme conditioning. Now, these are two flanking perks. If you can get behind your opponents and if you see someone running, throw a stun grenade at them. They'll, half the time they'll drop down to the floor, the other half of the time they'll try and push through it and walk very slowly. Either way, it's going to be a very easy headshot for you, and those perks are definitely the ones that you're going to want to be using. And I think the best thing about this class is that you only have to be level 11 for these perks. So, if you've got a low rank gun like an MP5 or the M4 Carbine or an AK, you can still prestige and work towards your levels while still going for these challenges. You don't have to stay level 55. Uh, because you want to be able to get those easy headshots. Now, the maps that I find the easiest to do this challenge on may be a bit of a surprise. Overgrown is definitely top two, because Overgrown is very easy to flank on, which is obviously very important, as I've already stated. And a lot of people snipe on Overgrown, which means that when you get close quarters to them and you're trying to get those guaranteed 100% headshot kills, they don't have that much close quarters combat efficiency. But they're not going to be able to no-scope you every time. However, if they're using SMGs, like on a map like Crash, for example, that I'm using uh, these, these Deacon on at the moment, it is a little bit trickier, which, it, to be honest, surprised me when I was playing, because Crash is close quarters, you're probably going to get a load more gunfights, but it's not about how many gunfights you get, it's about the quality of them, and how many people you can flank, how many people you can stun, and render useless in a gunfight. Now, hopefully, this tactic will help you out, and you'll be able to get the Regal Camera, which I'm showcasing at the end of this video. If you enjoyed this, uh, this video, and you found it helpful in any way, please leave me a like rating, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Mm, bye.